Hello, over it's Tech Unfusy, and welcome back to another review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Tales of Tim and T, Volume 2, Issue Number 16, Sins of the Past. So, with this issue, it's uh, I don't know how to really describe it because this issue focuses mainly on Donatello about him exploring space with the Utrums and the Future Toys, but with how Donatello is portrayed here, he doesn't seem like himself. And the whole story is just one of these ones which, you know, we've seen like done so many times before in like Turtles and other like kind of stories from like other like franchises such as like Marvel and DC. But I just see that, like in this one in particular, it is like boring because not much really happens and you don't really have like good connection to any of the characters and it's just not really there. So yeah. Okay, so starting the story off, we do get to see Donatello, and begin the story, he's talking about how he read a book about from a radio host and also a like a, a person who made alien inductions like really popular. And the reason why I read this is because there was a tsunami in 2004, and this book that I wrote predicted it. So Donatello is like really confused by it all and really like interested by it. So he reads it and. You know, it, this bit doesn't really go anywhere, by the way, but it's just reading it just because he wants to learn more about it. He's just, like, really intrigued by it all. And that's when he comes up with an idea of, like, you know, telling us a story about the time when he went on a space trip with the future toy, the neutrons, to explore space. So that's where we do start our actual main story. And with this bit, it's really weird because we do get to see Don Solo. He's flying a ship. And the reason why he's out, like, with the Utrums and Future Toys is just because he wants to learn more about the, like, like you know, like, space, the universe, and what the Utrums know about the universe. And he's trying to get the information so that he can be, like, a bit more, like, a bit more prepared about the universe, and also maybe help, like, Earth and stuff like that. But here we do get to see them flying a, a spaceship, and it's Don Tello's flying it, and it's here where I feel like Don Tello is just, like, not really himself, and... I have to say that this really progresses like throughout the whole issue, because he decides to like press the like, like things the button that makes the ship goes faster than the light, or something, faster than the speed of light. It's, it's something along those lines. And I have to say that it's a bit weird, just because everyone's turning around him saying, "Oh no, don't do this. You know, it's gonna be bad and all that." And when they actually stop, they like stay, uh, do from say to him like, "No, we can't go any further because." You know, we'll break, we'll be breaking law, and like this part of space is unknown to us, so we can't do that. But don't tell us, like, you know, no, well, I mean, we can do that because, you know, it's just law, and sometimes I have to break it to prevent, like, something bigger and all that. But then after that, we do get to see the spaceship. It goes and like, drifts off a bit into an asteroid field, and then this is where, again, Don Tello feels a little bit of a character just because he decides to take control of the ship. And that's when he like drifts it through the asteroid field, and then he has to land because the ship is a little bit ba uh, damaged because of all of it. So then after that, we do get to see the future toy. It starts to get some uh, like like signals and stuff like that from a spaceship with like you know like basically like a distress signal and stuff like that. So Don Tello goes out to investigate it, and here we do get to see the from the future toy. I do actually follow him and go into the like like a big cave where the signal was coming from. And I find out that it's like this little device, but then they turn around and see a big ship. Now with this spaceship, it's different to most uh, ships in this universe, just because this one is organic, and there's a little bit more to it uh, than just this bit like organic. So the characters do go in there, and some of them, or the Utrams, start, to, start, like, start to get attacked and are killed and all that. And then this is when we do get to see all of them start to fight the spaceship and the aliens inside of it. But then after that, we do get to see Donald Hello has a breakthrough and actually decides to stop fighting so that he can translate and t start to talk to the alien. And then this is when we find out that the alien is like, part of a race that, like, basically his homeworld has died and he's trying to uh, come off it, like, come off the homeworld and trying to, like, survive. However, the alien is the only one that's left, so there's not really so much to it. So then after that, we do get to see the Utrum, uh, Future Toy Don Tello go back to his ship and start to fly away. But that's when the, one of the Utrums, he decides that, you know, he doesn't like it, he wants this to be enough. He, he goes into a skate pod and flies straight into the, the, the alien ship, and that's the last we see of it. 
So there's not really too much to the ending other than just the yeah, Utrum just flies away. And I guess he's basically sort of confirmed that he did die and the spaceship or, or the alien died as well. And this bit here, they find it a little bit somewhat interesting that the Utrons are trying to hide this little secret. And it was really like unknown territory, but it was like a big secret for them. So I did enjoy that aspect about the comic. But yeah, overall, this issue was just not really there. And I feel like this is kind of like the story that would work really well for Tales of Tim and T. And it's like one that should work really well because all well, that kind of stuff we should do in this issue. But let's say that like with most stuff with tools in terms of like the space size stuff, I've always found it like really boring just because I don't really do too much with it and I feel like Mirage is like the next or oh, I'd say like the second most explored version in terms of space stuff. And I say that the 2003 version, especially like fast forward where they did really do a lot of stuff with the space stuff, really did do a lot of it and I and actually say that I enjoyed the space stuff in like fast forward because of what I did with it and actually explored it and actually made it more fun and interesting. And with the Mirage stuff, it's always been like one of these things for just like eh, it's there, I don't really care, I'd much rather read another story, I'd much rather just get the issue. And with this issue itself, it's just like one of these ones which I really wish I cared a lot more about the space stuff so that I can get excited for stuff like this, but yet I can't, and it's a real shame because of that. And with this story itself, it's like one which I think would be like really cool if it did have more of a connection with the Ultrons, the space side of things, but instead I don't, so I just don't really care all too much for it, and... I think if I did have more of a connection and I was more hyped for it, then yeah, I'd be a lot more different about it, but it's a real shame, but yeah. But uh, that's not to say that like, these stories don't work, because I do think that like these stories do work really well, and I do think that like, I have done it in like, a few times in Tools. I, like, off the top of my head, I can't remember any of them, but I'm pretty sure I have done stories like that, and I think that like they have worked, but I just don't think that this was the issue that worked really well for him. I and mean, then also not to mention with just how Don Taylor was acting throughout this issue, he just did not give off Don Taylor vibes, I don't think he gave off a bit more like Mikey and Raph vibes with how he was acting, especially with how he was driving the spaceship and just want to keep pushing like the story forward in terms of just like, you know, just going like into space and like keep pushing the boundaries. It really did not feel like Don Tello. I mean, I know that he likes to explore space and stuff like that, but at the same time, he's like the kind of tell that like would like back off until we like know stuff until we're just going straight into things without really thinking about it. So it does seem a bit stupid that he's like acting like this, but at the same time, it's somewhat justified. But it just feels like feels like really off character for him. Now the actual artwork itself for this issue, I'd say it worked really well in terms of what I'm trying to go for. I do think that Donato was very expressive throughout this issue, which. Again, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because of how Don Toad's acted throughout this issue, but I think it did a good enough job to it, and you can say that, like, with the mooding for this one, especially, like, the shadows, it worked really well because, I, I don't know, something about it like, worked really well. It helped, like, really create the atmosphere for what they were trying to go for, do from Sam and Doe's secret and stuff like that. And do you think that the black and white aspect of the comic really does help things in terms of what they're trying to go for with the whole dark at, 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 like, atmosphere, the secret side of things, stuff like that? It worked really well. And I think, like, it probably could have benefited from having some colour, maybe, in terms of, like, stuff, like, like, wasn't in, like, ships and stuff like that. But other than that, you did a pretty decent job, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, overall, I feel like this issue had a lot of things which they really needed to improve, but it was an okay issue, I'd say. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about this issue? Do you like it? Do you not? And, uh, yeah. A first game of the day, guys. It doesn't please share. Let's just grab no stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.